put my money on the floor. Don't do 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 do. Just call me the evil stepson of the West Coast. And I'm on one. I got this dick for you. Are you a freak? Are you a prostitute? Are you a freak? Buy my records if I got married. Or would I make the shots even if I was hurried? And will I still be remembered? Got me worrying so hard. Sometimes I'm feeling like my pride. And let these haters know that we can try. I'm in the this dick for you. Are you a freak? Are you a prostitute? They keep some motherfucker like me up on his toes? No, not quite. Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Mag Lessons Radio Show. I'm your host, Mr. Tariq Nasheed. Glad to have everybody tuning back in. To hear me chop up good game like I always do. Broadcasting live from Los Angeles. Flowing straight from the survival scrolls. On today's show, I'm going to read a couple of listeners' emails. We're going to take calls. I'm going to play some clips. And today's topic, older women who date younger men. It's going to be a very good show today. Older women who date younger men. So wide open telephones, everybody call in. You know the number. Want to say what's up to everybody? Let's see who's on the phone right now. Hotline, who's calling? Yo, what's up? This is Leonard out of North Carolina. All right, man, what's on your mind today, player? Um, it's called the MySpace bullpen. Shout out to all. Yeah. So what's that? Um, older. What's that? Go ahead. Older women, that's kind of out of the reach, man. I don't see the pill. Um, older women out of the reach? What do you mean? Like, I just don't, I don't understand why somebody date them if you're young, you know what I'm saying? Uh, now, have you ever dated an older female, a female older than you? Nah, nah, I can't do that. All right, I feel you. <laughs> All right, man, well, thanks, <laughs> thanks for the call, player. Uh, Hi, Lon, who's calling? Hey, what's up? What's up, King Flex? It's Corey from Oakland. Hey, what's up, man? What's going on up there in the O? Oh, man, it's cool, man. Uh, I'm just asking about, uh, you know, five <laughs> Go ahead, boy. About fires, is you cool? Yeah, you man. Have to evacuate him? Oh, oh, yeah, man. These fires are crazy out here, man. There's fires all over the place. It's like hell right now, man. L.A. is on fire. There's fires out here in Malibu. There's fires like in San Bernardino. I mean, there's fire all over L.A., man, because it's real windy and it's dry and it's crazy, man. But uh, I'm cool. I'm sure as man. Okay. Yeah, I'm cool in the game, man. I'm, I'm getting up out of town actually this weekend, but everything. Is cool. <laughs> I heard that. But everything is cool. It's the topic. But we're just talking about older women who date younger men, younger men who date older women. Oh uh, man, I just I just went through that experience not not too long ago. As far as like with the older chick, man, I should have. I wish I had got turned on to the to the podcast before I did it, but uh, it was too late and I learned it. But I definitely wouldn't recommend it. Though. What happened in your situation? My situation, it was just, man, we was just, I was I was a senior in college, you know what I mean? I really didn't have much money. So she had, the, she kind of like had the power in the whole relationship. And right. so she was kind of, you know, I put myself in a real subjective position that I wish, you know, looking back, I would have really did things differently. I, I mean, I would have screwed her a couple times, but as far as being in a real relationship, what I wouldn't have did. For sure. All right, man, thanks for the call, player. That's real talk. Oh, yeah, by the way, for those who don't know, I mean, there's a lot of fires out here in L.A., man. It's a lot of brush fires and wildfires out here, man. It's real crazy. But I'm getting out. I'm going out of town. I'm going to um, Jamaica and um, the Cayman Islands this weekend, y'all. So I'm um, thinking about doing a show out there. I know I'm going to tape some stuff, some videotapes and all that stuff. I'm going to Ochos Rios, Jamaica. So if anybody has any information on Ochos Reels Jamaica, y'all hit me up on MySpace and let me know your experiences and what to do, what not to do. And it's my first time going to the Cayman Islands. So if anybody has any information about that, what to do, what not to do, all that good shit, hit me up on MySpace. I'm going to have a whole bunch of pictures. I'm going to have a whole Caribbean blog put up. And I might send some of y'all postcards. I know a lot of times when I go out of the country, 
some of my listeners, I send them postcards. I have them email me their addresses and I hook them up. I kind of share the experience. Hotline, who's calling? It's Michael. What's up, Mike? Where you calling from, player? Uh, Nashville. All right, what's on your mind, player? Oh, uh, man, just got a little situation with my girl, man. What's going on? Uh, man, just found out, man, one of my partners I was working with, that, that I worked with, uh, he had told me that he was, you know what I'm saying, messing with her and shit. Wait, wait, did I talk to your partner last week? Yeah, I heard the show, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, and I told him to call you. Right. Okay. He called me. Okay, okay, there we go. Yeah. So, what's the situation? I'm, I'm trying to remember exactly what the whole situation was now. Well, you know what I'm saying, I just, I just, I just, well, I, just I met him, like, uh, I just started working with him, like, uh, this is, my, this is our third week working together, and I found out, you know what I'm saying, he told me last week. Okay. You know, that he was uh, messing with my girl and stuff like that. Okay. So yo, and, uh, man, I I just found out, man. She got they they've been doing flicks and she been sucking his dick and all that, man. God damn, they done done some. They he done videotaped her. Yeah, damn. Some videotape and everything. Well, yo, but your boy, I've been, I've, been, I've been dating for for man for like four years now, man. You been dating the chick for four years? Yeah. And you didn't you didn't know she was doing all this stuff on the side? Nope. So when you found out, when old boy told you, what'd you do? They came to me cool, you know. And it was there was no, no, no hate towards them or nothing like Absolutely. that. Absolutely, you know I mean? he, he kept it real, real matches with me, man. Absolutely, which there shouldn't have been any hate towards him because you know he really didn't know the situation. So, what happened with the chick? Well, you know what I'm saying. Like I, said, I was with her last night, man, and oh. you know what I'm saying? I took her to the movies. And oh, stuff. Nicole, you joking? Now, now you you busted my balls. You didn't do that, did you? Uh, yeah, yeah, we went to the movies last night. Why y'all? <laughs> I don't believe that, did you, did you, for real. You, you, you just saying. <laughs> we went to the movies last night, man. Why'd y'all go to the movies? You, you, I don't believe you, dude. I don't believe you. Uh, you found out your your chick was fucking with your homie, and you took it to the movies. We went to the movies last night to talk and everything. Oh. I mean, we went to the movies, and after the movie, you know what I'm saying, I went back to the house, and we, we just had a long, long, long talk okay. just about everything. Okay, and was, what's the outcome? It like the vibe. Like she tried, now she tried to put it all on me, like I'm... I'm the villain here, you know. Come on, I wasn't paying no attention. How did you, you know how she try to flip, girl try to flip stuff around? Okay, all that stuff. Man. But why'd you go to the movies though, player? I, I like I said, man. I, it, it, was, it was the time we just we just went. You know, I had to go to the movie just on the last 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 note, man. The last note. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I got to play a little Keith Sweat for you. Hold on. <laughs> Not to Keith Sweat. I had I had to go to Keith Sweat play. I couldn't even get you with the Brian McKnight. I had to go to the Keith Sweat on you, dude. Hold on, let me get a little of this. Cause she's taking you through a merry-go-round, nigga. This is it. Was this you? Was this you last night? <laughs> it's it's over now, man. You know what I'm saying? That was that was our last ride right there. So, so did you break it off officially? What what happened? What what was it, the it, We broke it off like that. You know what I'm saying? After the movie, we talked, and after that, we're gonna go out separate. She's gonna do her thing. I'm gonna do my thing, man. I, I don't you know understand what I'm why you would go to the movies, though. You know what I'm saying? If your chick doing all that shit, the last thing you're gonna do is go to the movies. But you kind of missed this. I know it kind of fucked with you. It kind of hurt you and all that, right? Yeah, it, it did. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? For seeing tapes on her, he doing back shots on her and everything. Nah. Nothing on her ass and shit, man. That shit was, killed me right there. He, damn, was he fucking a raw dog? Uh, yeah, raw dog. God damn, dude. And, you know, that's not the kind of... That female put you in jeopardy, dude. She could have brought you home something. You don't know what that nigga got. Or, right. and, and you know that's not the only dude she was banging, right? I don't know. Yeah, you know she was probably banging other dudes. And, and the thing is, man, you got to let a slut be a slut. She was a slut long before she met you. You understand that? So there was nothing you can do to stop her sluttishness. She came out very conservative, man. Like, those are the biggest sluts. Those conservative right. ones, those goody two-shoes, church girls, Kurt Franklin-ass girls, those are some of the right. biggest sluts in the game, dude. And right. she was like that before you. There's some girls that's just dick-hungry. They like fun fucking. They like the, the taste of different dicks. And there's nothing you can really do about that, man. Right, right. Team, that's they won't. They don't even make good hoes. You can't even make them good prostitutes. That's why pimps don't yeah. even fuck with them because they be giving me alone. Tell me alone her convenience, man. I mean, why she even do that? Well, why she would do what? 
I mean, why she even came me along in her convenience, man? Right? Well, because mean, they they get off on doing shit that they're not supposed to do. That's part of the the desire that they have, man. That's part of the intrigue. Playing dudes, they kind of like that. They kind of like playing with fire. They like sneaking, then the deception and fucking the homies. They get off on that type shit, man. That's slut behavior. And right. again, we find each other gifts, and she meet my mother, and they going out and stuff like that, yeah. all that shit. Man. Yeah, yeah. So, man, don't let that. Don't feel like that's a reflection of you, because no matter what dude this chick gets with, she's going to still have that scandalous, slutty mentality. So there's nothing you can okay. really do about this. So don't. It's not a reflection of you. A lot of guys get in situations like that, and they're like, "Damn, what could I have done better? How could I have changed the situation? Am I good enough? Was I man enough?" No, she was just sluttish enough. You dig? And just charge right. into the game. It has nothing to do with you. So don't let your heart be broken on it. The best thing to do is charge into the game, get you some new females who are qualified who are strong enough to get their mind into a max mind and, and be thorough with their game. And there's a lot of women out there that. in Nashville. You're going to be all right, man. Don't trip and stop. Keep sweating and cupcaking with these hoes, all right? All right. All right. All right. Appreciate it, bro. For sure. All right. Yeah, that brother's going to be all right. Well, he took it to the movies. What the hell he do that for? I wouldn't have done that. This brought out here cupcaking with niggas and niggas tearing up pussy up and filming it. And oh, don't take it to the movies. You charge that to the game immediately. Anyway, let me read um, a listener's email. Let me get this simp music off and put on some real player shit. Some real, real player shit. I'm going to read an email from this young lady. And also, yeah, like I said, I'm going to Jamaica and um, the Cayman Islands this weekend. I'm going on a cruise, actually, and those are some of the stops. So I'm going to be doing my thing. And I'm going to have pictures for everybody. And if you have any information about some of those places where to go, where to eat, all that shit, y'all hit me up and let me know. Uh, let me read an email from a young lady. Back to the topic of older women, younger men. I got an email from a young lady on MySpace. She was like, what's up, Tariq? I bought one of your books and I need some personal advice. Do you think that a woman can ever get over a man that's cheating on her? If so, how? If your man continually denies the fact that he has done so, but unfortunately for me, I have his password to his voicemail, which he doesn't know, and now it's second nature for me to check it when I call him. I'm typically not the kind of woman to go looking for things, and now I found out stuff that my heart cannot handle. Her email goes on to say that my boyfriend is 21, and I'm 27. And as much as I try not to attribute issues to his age, this is the first time in our relationship when I feel like he's acting his age. We recently had a huge argument and he told me that he'll call me in two weeks after he fucked up. He told me he needed to get his thoughts together and he told me maybe his issue was bigger than me. I'm giving him his time because he probably needs time to himself to get his mind together. And I really want to know what the deal is. I feel like I may risk losing him if he doesn't hear from me or if I don't hear from him. And I feel like I don't want to call him because I don't want to seem desperate. What can I do to flip the script on him? Okay. Now, this woman is 27 years old. You're 27 years old. And a lady called the last show with a similar situation. She was 30-something. I think she was in her late 30s. She claimed to be like 35, but I know she was a little older. She was. She said she was 29, but, you know, that means much older. She was dating a guy who was 30, and she was going through the same situation. Ladies who are like 27, 28, 29 and, and older, you're too old to be playing bullshit games in relationships after a while you get too old to have to check motherfuckers voicemails and check people's myspace page it's, you get too old for that if you have to do all that it's not the business you shouldn't even be in the relationship you dig 
You're too old to be doing that. And women, when you're 27, 28, you shouldn't be dating a man younger than you anyway. Women of any age, and I've said this on a show before, women, women are generally seven years more mature than men. So even when I meet women who date guys the same age as them, especially young women, like if a woman is like between 18 and 24 and she's dating a guy around the same age, her level of maturity isn't going to be that great. When a woman is between 18 and 24, she's dating the same dude or dudes who are around her age, her level of maturity is going to be kind of whack. That's why most women... Now, a lot of younger women who are like 18 to 19, they date older guys because they know, smart women now, I'm talking about the smart ones, they know that a lot of guys their age, they're not going to learn nothing. So a lot of women out here want to get some game because the average 20 or 21 year old dude today isn't like the 20, 21 year old dudes from back in the day. Let me get this call real quick. Hotline. Peace, Tariq. This what? What's your name? This is Divine. What's up, man? What's on your mind, player? Oh, uh, just calling, chop it up with you. All right, what's going on? I'm calling out of Detroit, though. Just want to send a little to all my Detroit people so that's on the uh, listening. That's what's up. What's going on um, out there in Detroit? Uh, same old, same, man. For sure. For sure. All right, what's on your mind? Got a question. Go ahead. Got a question for you, though, Tariq. Um... I listened to all your shows, man. I read a couple of your books or whatever. All right. I just wanted to know, is it ever all right to um, chop up or spit game at females at your job? No. Especially if it's Never. a... No. If, it depends on how serious you take your job. If it's a job that you need, that you really need, that you get benefits from, you've been on your job for a while... You got a lot of rent, you got mortgages, you got car notes, you really need your job. Need, need. I mean, everybody needs their job, but I'm like, if losing your job will kind of fuck your life up, you don't mess around with no woman at your job. What, where do you well, what go? ahead. I work at a uh, psychiatric hospital, but what do, I got a lot of fine ass, dime ass nurses at my job. I and they be coming at a brother, and I always listen, I always listen to what you said. About not hollering at spitting at females at the job, so I find myself turning them down a lot. But how long have you been? Really, how, how long have you been working there? A little over a year. That we keep your job, man. You got a hospital job, so I know you get pretty good benefits. On um, what you should do, man, because again, it's very tempting to to spit game at you know women at your job. I mean, they're right there. You see them every day, and plus, there's sexual tension. Because, you know, they flirt with you, you flirt with them, and that sexual tension builds up in your mind. You know what I'm saying? Because once you do it, man, that creates a whole different dynamic. Let's say you fuck one of them bras at your job and shit goes wrong, which it happens in relationships. Like when you date somebody and you, you know, the shit goes sideways, you don't want to see them every day. You know, it's, it's uncomfortable when you bump into somebody or one of your exes out at the club somewhere. When they live across town So it's really uncomfortable to be around your ex Every goddamn day And then that sexual tension turns into negative attention Negative tension rather And then sooner or later man This broad might get on some vindictive shit And go down to human resources Like hey I'm, I'm uncomfortable at my job Because of this nigga And you know they're going to side with this motherfucker So you don't want to be in that environment You dig So what you should do man When you have dimes at your job Holla at their homegirls because these bras got homegirls, they got relatives who are probably just as fine as they are because fine bras hang with right. fine bras. So let her be the matchmaker. Say, look, let me hook up with one of your homegirls, whoop de whoop. Just treat her like the homie and then get with their friends. But don't fuck with them when they work with you, player. That's a no no. That's going to create a lot of problems, man. Now, if it's a job you don't need, you know, some old bullshit job that, you know, you don't mind and you can go get another job like that. Just as easily I mean shit Knock yourself out Bang every female up there But your job And plus you in Detroit Because shit Niggas are starving In Detroit player Hell yeah You know what I'm saying So you really Don't need to fuck around At your job man You need to get them benefits And be thankful You got a decent job In Detroit man You dig Alright player But thanks for the call man Yep 
But like I was saying about the older women, younger men thing, a lot of men who are 21 now, they're not like the brothers who are 21 back in the day. The maturity level of men back in the day, even in the, the 80s and 90s, the maturity level of a 21-year-old dude is much different than the maturity level of a 21-year-old dude now. Like, even... That's reflective in hip-hop. You notice back in the, the late 80s, early 90s, the hip-hop records were made by, like, 19, 20, 21-year-old dudes, and the lyrical content was very intelligent for the most part. You had cats like Rakim, Big Daddy Kane, KRS-One. I mean, these guys putting down some real lyrics, some thought-provoking shit. Cube, all these niggas, thought-provoking shit. And these were young guys. Some of them were even younger than 21. Now look at the music now, the 21-year-old cats that's making music now. Hey, baby. Hey. Superman at home. Come on now. So that's a reflection of the maturity level that we have of guys now. And I'm not saying that all brothers are immature, but right now the maturity of men in that age group has dwindled. So a lot of women that I know, or a lot of women that I run across that date, guys that are considerably younger than them these women really don't have their shit together because women instinctively look for men to upgrade them they look for men to give them knowledge they look for men to give them leadership and when a woman is dating a guy who is much younger than her that's a mother child dynamic they're having a mother child relationship and eventually the child will rebel And a woman is going to be a reflection of the man she dates. So if your dude is immature, eventually you're going to start acting immature. No matter how much of a maternal figure you are, the man that you're having sex with on a regular basis, you're going to take on his ideology. Like Whitney Houston, for example, we know, and I made this analogy before, Whitney Houston was, you know, the shit for a while. She started dating a man who was younger than her, Bobby Brown, a reputed crackhead. Then look what happened to Whitney. She started taking on crackhead characteristics and fell off. So ladies, you have to upgrade. A lot of women try to date younger guys thinking that, okay, I can control this nigga. I can't really get with an older guy or a guy who's my age because I can't really do anything with them because he might leave me so if I get a younger guy and control him he won't leave me that is not the case hotline did this son of a bitch hang up on me hello anyway but like I said ladies you can't do that if you're trying to upgrade yourself that's not a good look Dating a, a 21 year old dude and you're 27 Or you're a woman who's pushing 30 It's just not a good look because you're not being upgraded I don't care how old you are as a woman You're going to still need to be upgraded Every woman needs to be upgraded Every woman subconsciously looks for a man to upgrade them <clears throat> To give them knowledge, to give them game Don't let them fool you fellas All women think like this That's why we have a lot of older women Up in church all the time looking to be upgraded by the preacher women need that upgrading they need it I, was, I got a, a, an email from a guy one of the listeners a dude he's like 30 something he was like telling me about this older woman he was dating yeah man I got this older woman she's a freak man she wants to have threesomes and oh, she's a freak and I'm like well shit how old is this woman this nigga said this broad is 54 years old a nigga, you ought to be shot messing with a 54-year-old woman. Messing with somebody's nana. You ought to be shot. You need to take that woman to somebody's prayer meeting. Up here fucking somebody's nana. That is not the business. That is not Mackish. I'm sorry. That's too damn old. What the fuck? What does 54-year-old pussy feel like? I've been smell like mothballs. What the hell does 54-year-old pussy... Okay. That's just how I think. But I digress. 
Anyway, I'm going to play a clip, y'all. There's a clip that um one of my people on MySpace sent me. His name is DJ Notorious. What's up, DJ Notorious? He sent me this clip that is funny as hell. <clears throat> Let me set this clip up. It's a public access show in New York. And there's this guy who's a psychic. Or well, he's supposed to be a psychic. And this is a real clip. The guy is dead serious in this clip. This is 100% real. And people are prank calling the psychic. And he's getting pissed off. <clears throat> he's getting pissed off and he's kind of going off on a lot of the callers. And there are people who are calling up to get a, a, a legitimate reading from him. But he's so pissed off and he's so irritated by the callers. He's just hanging up on everybody. And you can see this clip. It's on my MySpace page. Go to myspace.com slash Tariq underscore Nasheed and go to the comments and you'll see the clip on the comment section on my MySpace page. The, the guy looks funny as he has on these real thick ass glasses, has on like a skull cap. And I mean, the shit is hilarious. Hotline, who's calling? Yo, what's up? This is Mom. What's up, man? Where you calling from? I'm at Dallas. Oh, that's what's up, man. What's going on in Dallas? What's up with you? Are you know, we're getting, that, we're getting that winter weather, but still kind of sunny up here. All right. What's on your mind today, player? Well, I see the top of all the women. Yes. Wow. The best analogy I can come up with for dating all the women is like going to the car lot. Going to where? Uh, the car lot or something? Yeah. I mean, you go down to the car lot, you know, you go with the stuff. You don't look at them old cars that got in the back. You want something brand new up front. But <laughs> yes, some some of these brothers out here they want they want one of them old dusted joints. That's right. You know? so. <laughs> All right, man. Thanks for the call, player. All right. Anyway, let me let me get into this clip. But like I said, this clip is funny as hell. It's a public access show. This guy, he's a psychic, and people are calling up, busting his balls, and you can see it on my MySpace page. And the guy is going off on some of the colors, and it's real funny. Check it out. Real good stuff. Here it is. Why, why are these people cursing at you? My friend, they have nothing better to do. Listen, man, you... I can't hear you. Good evening. Good evening. Your mother. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> good evening. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> I swear these people in New York City. Good evening. You suck. Uh huh. Uh huh. Apparently, you do too. <laughs> Good evening. Can I get a second reading? Honey, you don't call her asking for stuff like that. This is not I'm a bodega. What is that? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to help you. This is not a bodega. <laughs> don't call. Uh, let me get a second energy reading. This is not a bodega, honey. <laughs> Good evening. For those, for those who don't know what a bodega is, that's one of the Puerto Rican stores in New York, them little convenience stores in New York. Hello. Hello, honey. Yes. Hello. Honey, get on off my phone here. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Asshole. Thank you. Thank you. I bet yours is quite wide, isn't Your it? Uh huh. Yours is all scratched out. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Hello, honey. Good evening. You, you enjoy your life, honey. Good evening. My lord. Good evening. Hi, how are you? Honey, I'm better now. How are you? I'm good. That's good to hear. So what is this show about? Get your life together, honey. Get the hell off my phone. <laughs> good evening. Hello? Hello, my friend. Oh, happy Friday. Happy Friday, my friend. Uh, good evening. Uh, I was calling. I was hoping to get a... Uh... Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a bodega. And it is not McDonald's. You ain't got a menu to look at here. You know it's about psychic energy. That's all it's about here. Ain't no guesswork. Can I get a, uh... You can get a foot up your ass, which you can get. <laughs> Good evening. Hey. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Ladies and gentlemen, a little old time here. I said I was going to help four peoples here. I ain't help but two. What a damn shame it's been. Good evening. Good evening. Uh-huh. Go on somewhere. <laughs> Good evening. Hanging up on everybody. My Lord. Good evening. 
Hello? Yes, honey. Thank you for my... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Good evening. Fuck you. Yes, yes, yes. Another one of them fools. Another one of them I mean, fools. this shit goes on for like nine minutes. Creative, my friend. I ain't, go, I ain't gonna play the whole nine Please. minutes. Uh-huh. Really? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Good you gotta see the visual. This shit is funny as hell How when you? you see it. Yes, yes, yes. Good evening. Good evening. My dick. Really? Really? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Good evening. Fuck you. Oh, really? That's wonderful, honey. That takes a lot of courage to call him. Fuck you and hang up the phone. That's, that's a lot of courage. And my yeah. favorite part is coming uh -huh. up. Good evening. Good evening. Uh-huh. Hey, you said my dick, bitch. Really? Really? Okay, you uh -huh. freak fuck face. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Really? Hey, uh-huh. That's hey, wonderful. That hey, sounds great. I, I love that. Uh-huh. I'm going to see to it that you get bitten the ass by German Shepherd. Uh-huh. <laughs> a big old German Shepherd. Coming your way, my friend. Good evening. Yeah, Watch out for was, he said, I hope you get bit. I'm going to see to it that you get bitten the ass by German Shepherd. I got to play that. That's my I'm part. I'm going to see to it that you get bitten the ass by German Shepherd. Uh-huh. <laughs> a big old German Shepherd. Coming your way, my friend. Good evening. Hello? Watch out for that German Shepherd. <laughs> Is this uh, TV? Gone somewhere. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Running low on time. Oh, God, that's funny Ladies and as gentlemen. hell. Good evening. <sighs> uh-huh. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm finna go. Hold on. I, well, I gotta play one more part. For they know not what they do. Uh-huh. They don't know. So I got to forgive them. New York City, y'all got to get it together. You really do. I love you. But you got to get it together. Good evening. I don't love you, nigga. You fat. Really? <laughs> Honey, do you suck your daddy's dick with that filthy mouth? <laughs> do you? <laughs> Good evening. Happy. Uh huh. That's it. That's it. I got to go. That's it. That's it. That's it. But that's some funny ass shit to me. I'm sorry. That's some funny shit. But anyway, that's been today's episode of the Mac Lessons Radio Show. I'm your host, Mr. Tariq King Flex Nasheed. I'm going to get one more call before I get out of here. One more call. One last call. Hotline, who's calling? Hi, Tariq. This is Vicky. Hey, Vicky, where you calling from? Uh, Arizona. All right, what's going on with you, Vicky? Oh, not much. I saw your um, you notice on my face. Yes. Uh huh. So I thought I could do. Oh, what's the topic? Talking about older women who date younger men. Oh wow. <laughs> Are you an older woman who date younger men, Vicky? No, I'm married, but I have a lot of friends who do. Okay, how long have you been married? Oh, about oh. 11, 12 years. Oh, okay. How, how, how many years older is your husband? Oh, about three years older. Okay, there I. you go. Well, you upgraded. You upgraded. But you have friends, female friends, who date a lot of younger guys? Oh, yes. And what's up with them? Are they, how how are their relationships? Um, Filled with drama, of course. <laughs> exactly. It's, I, it's just, um, how can I put it? I, I can't understand why, you know, it, it's pretty obvious that there's a age difference. Right. And the requirements that they usually put on, you know, the younger partner, it's, to me personally, I just think it's over the top. They're just not there yet. Exactly. Mm -hmm. They that, try to, I don't know, make them into something that's not just yet. You know? And you make a good point because, I mean, when the guys are like 21, 22 or whatever, and the woman is like pushing 30, uh, she's going to have... 30 year old issues you know what i'm saying 30 woman issues like rent car notes you, you got in, you got shit to take care of and exactly a 21 22 year old dude isn't going to have any know-how or any way to contribute to that so it doesn't make practical sense to do that in many cases so that was kind yeah. of the whole point of the show what we we're talking about today yeah my, my biggest pet peeve is it, it's happened to my it's happened to my brother oh really they have they've had older women Oh my God! Yes. And uh, older women try to get them and and um, kind of almost control them, put them in a situation where they are dependent on the woman. Oh yes, my I sent you an a email message a while back regarding my my brother, and it was kind of an emergency. He was kind of in the dump. I sent you a note about what can he do to help himself, you know. And it, it's just I don't know. It's a sad situation, but. It was to say he was taking care of her kids and paying her bills, and he ended up losing his house and his stuff, you know. Damn. Oh, man. And How long was he dealing with this woman? <laughs> About, I don't know, two or three months. 
he lost all that in two or three months? Yep. And wait, how old was your brother, or is your brother? How old is your brother? He's 35. And how old was the woman? Ooh, I, I don't know, maybe early 40s. God damn. You need to have your brother call up to the show. <laughs> so, so, oh, I can, yeah. Yeah, so I can talk to him, and I'm going to hit him up with some of this line on Richie. <laughs> <laughs> he lost all that in two months? Off a 40 year old chick? 40 oh. Yeah, but he's basically homeless and he's thinking about moving here, you know, with me and my family. And I love my brother and I'll do anything for him, but I've sent him the links to your podcast and he went out and bought your books. And I sent my other brother books and stuff, but I don't know. I can't get through. I'm, maybe please, I'm not the messenger. Please, I don't know. Please, please have him call my show the next time I do a show. Please, please have him call will. me. All right, Vicky. Thank you, baby. Man, I can't wait to talk to that dude. I might do a whole show just on him. How this nigga let some 40 some year old broad make him homeless? Anyway, that's been it for today's episode of the Mac Lessons Radio Show. Don't forget to check out Mac Let Let me get this damn simp music off. Hold on. Put on some fly shit. Um, MacLessons.com, MacLessonsRadio.com. You can get all the macking products, the DVDs, the macking for money special, the Mac Lessons in Brazil special at maclessons.com. I'm a holla. Peace. Let's make believe you really like. 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 Let's